What's up you freaking geniuses? So in this video I'm going to teach you how to write an inequality when you're just given a graph. Okay, so we're going to do two examples starting with this one right here. All right, so the first thing you want to do is find the equation of your line right here. And the way that we're going to do that is using the slope intercept form of an equation, which is this equation right here. Y is equal to MX plus B. Okay, and there's just two things we have to figure out with this equation. So first of all, we have to figure out what the B is right here. And the B is your Y intercept. Okay, and the Y intercept is just where your the equation of the line right here crosses the y axis. So you can see it crosses the y axis right here, right, at positive 2. Okay, so our y intercept is positive 2. All right, the other thing we have to figure out is our slope, which is represented by m. Okay, so the slope is equal to the rise over the run. Okay, so to figure out the slope, uh, we basically need two points. So we already have, we already found one point right here, right? Now we need to find another point that this uh, line runs through. Okay, so we just need to find another point, which there's one right there. Okay, it goes through this point right here at three comma zero, okay? So in order to figure out the slope, you just need to move from your left point, the point that's on the left, to the point that's on the right, okay? So to get from here to here, First, we need to go down two, right? Go down one, two, and then go over three, right? One, two, three. Okay, so then our slope over here, the rise, we went down two, so it's gonna be negative two, and then we went over three spaces in the positive direction, so positive three, okay? Uh, so we could write our slope as negative two over three, okay? So we found the B, we found the M, so let's plug in this BM right here. So this is going to be Y is equal to our M, our slope, right? Negative two thirds, negative two thirds times X, right? And then plus B. And it was positive two, right? So we'll put a positive two right there. Okay, so the equation of this line right here is Y is equal to negative two thirds X plus two. Okay, now the only other thing we have to do here is turn our equal sign into an inequality sign, okay? So our answer is basically going to be either y is greater than negative two-thirds x plus two, or it's going to be y is less than negative two-thirds x plus two. Okay, and the reason we're either going to have a greater than symbol or a less than symbol is because the equation of the line right here is a dashed line, okay? So if you ever have a dashed line, then you're either going to use a greater than symbol or a less than symbol, okay? But if this instead was a solid line, right, just a regular solid line, then here our inequalities would have been either greater than or equal to, or less than or equal to, okay? If you have a solid line, you have to slap that equal to symbol on it, okay? But of course, that's not the case here, right? This is just a dashed line. So that's why it's just a greater than or less than symbol. Okay, so again, one of these two uh, inequalities is gonna be your answer. Okay, and the way you figure that out is just by looking at your graph over here, okay? Because you can see that there's a shaded region, right? So all you want to do is pick a point inside of your shaded region and plug it into both of these inequalities, okay? And once you plug it into both of these inequalities, one of these inequalities is going to have a true statement and the other one is going to have a false statement, okay? And the one with the true statement is your answer, okay? And you want to pick a point that's going to be easy to evaluate. So normally that's going to be right here at the origin. So right here is zero comma zero, right? So the point that we're going to test, I'll just write it right here, is zero comma zero, right? So this is your X coordinate, this is your Y coordinate. So we're going to plug in a zero for the X's right here, and we're going to plug in a zero for the Y's, okay? So plugging it in, uh, let's do this one on the left first. So here we're going to have zero is greater than negative two-thirds times x, which again is zero, plus two, right? 
And then simplifying this, it's going to be 0 is greater than negative 2 thirds times 0. That's just 0. And then plus 2, right? And then uh, one more time, this is 0 is greater than 2. Okay, is this a true statement? Is 0 bigger than 2? No, it's not, right? This is a false statement. Okay, and since this one gave us a false inequality, right, this one up here, that means this one should work when we plug in 0, comma 0. Okay, so let's test this one now. So again, I'm going to plug in a 0 for y, and then this time it's going to be less than negative 2 thirds times x, which is 0, plus 2, right, plus 2. Okay, so here we're going to have 0 is less than negative 2 thirds times 0, 0, and then plus 2 right there, right? And then simplifying it one last time, we have 0 is less than positive 2. Okay, is this a true statement? Yes, it is, right? So that means this inequality right here is your answer, okay? So y is less than negative 2 thirds x plus 2. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try one more example, and I think it's going to make a little more sense. Okay, here is our next example. So again, the first thing you want to do is find the equation of this line right here. And we're going to do that using the slope-intercept form, which is y is equal to mx plus b. Okay, so first of all, let's find our two numbers right here, right? The b and the m. So the b is normally the easier thing to find right off the bat. So it's just where this line crosses the y-axis, and you can see it hits it right here at positive 3, right? So our y-intercept is equal to positive 3. Now the slope, again, is equal to the rise over the run, right? So uh, we already found one point along this line. Let's find another one. Looks like right here. Okay. So in order to get from the point that's on the left to the point that's on the right, you first have to go down two, right? Go down one, two, and then go over one. Okay. So our rise right here is negative two over one right? Or we could just write that as negative 2, okay? So plugging our numbers into the equation, we're going to have y is equal to negative 2 x plus 3. Okay, cool. So we found the equation of our line. Now the only other thing we have to do is change our equal sign into an inequality sign, okay? So in this case, we're going to have either y is less than or equal to negative 2x plus 3, or it's going to be y is greater than or equal to negative 2x plus 3. Okay, so you can notice I attached the equal signs onto my inequalities this time, right? Because the equation of the line is solid, okay? So since this is a solid line right here, again, that's why you attach the equal to symbols right there. Okay, now the last thing is just figuring out which one is correct, right? And again, the way you do that is by simply picking a point inside of your shaded region. And again, you want to pick something that's relatively easy to evaluate. So let's pick this point right here. Okay, and this point is at the coordinates 2 comma 0, right? So let me write that up here, 2 comma 0. Okay, so this is your x coordinate and this is your y coordinate, right? So we're going to plug in a 2 for the x's right here and a zero for the y's. Okay, so starting with this one first, we're gonna have zero is less than or equal to negative two times x, and x is two, right? So times two plus three. Okay, so here we have zero is less than or equal to negative four plus three. So then we have zero is less than or equal to negative one. Okay. Is this a true statement? Is zero less than, is it smaller than negative one? No, it's not, right? Okay, so again, that means this inequality right here is not our answer. So now when we plug in our point into this other inequality, it should work, okay? So again, plugging in all the numbers, uh, y is zero, right? So it's greater than or equal to negative two times x, which is two, and then plus three. Right, so then we have zero is greater than or equal to negative four plus three. 
Okay, so then zero is greater than or equal to negative one. Okay, is this a true statement? Yes, it is. Okay, so that means this inequality that we just tested is our answer. Y is greater than or equal to negative two X plus three. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out and I'll see you there.